You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He don't care what John. What John, what it doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's diff different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Nice loop and punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, it's not due to the lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you because every moment he's trying to throw to knock his opponent out, you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, and those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, my goodness. Oh! These guys throwing early. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Nice head kick. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Nice punch lands over the top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. Oh, nice job avoiding the damage from that elbow. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big punch land. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He's a goal this moment. Don't finish his fight. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Hip into that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to establish that jab. Checks the leg kick. And he caught the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Leg kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, oh! he needs to start looking to finish now. Stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our legs can be what controls your feet. Right. We're not using our hands. I'm not using my hands. I'm using my legs to just kind of wheel and deal you from side to side. Then my upper body is free to punch. If you get your feet on my hips, you're out. You right. may as well just kick away. Right hand punch the clinch. And he comes through with a big knee. 
Oh! Round oh. two winding oh. down. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Nice leg kick lands. And that left hook landed on the button. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, so once again, the fighters in. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, stacked guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean that he's out. I mean he's out. The moment you get the feet on the hips, all he's got to do now is a straight leg. He's got to kick and push, because how is the opponent going to stop him from just elevating him? This is a grown man. You let him get both feet on your hips, you push away, you kick, jiu-jitsu stand-up. You know what that is, Jay. I do. You understand that. You know, you went to your jiu-jitsu class. <laughs> Post the hand, twist the hips, get back to your feet, get back to fight. Flips to avoid that left. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch, man. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out of here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Let's go. Let's get the We march on three minutes to go. Oh, nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see what he can do. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Back to the feet now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man. Whoa! What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hips, all he has to do is just extend his legs. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off as you're trying to build into him. Attack the feet with your hands, head and chest back, lead with your hips, pass the feet, drive your knee forward, try to get the side control. And they separate. That one snuck in. Nice. Right. You got to check these low legs. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh! He's out! He got it! Woo! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dan 50K! <laughs>